on the day of judgment, you will be judged according to your deeds. So even if, for example, if you were in a place where there was a tsunami, a tsunami doesn't doesn't look to who's good and who's bad. When it comes, it wipes out the people in that area. You know what the tsunami is, right? Okay, so if we have an earthquake or we have a hurricane, we have a big tidal wave, which is like the tsunami and things like this, uh, any kind of natural uh, catastrophe or something like this, that when it comes, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't say, oh, there's a few good people here, there's a few good people there, there's a bad person here. No, it comes and it wipes out that area. And that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wisdom. However, the people in that area they will be judged on the day of judgment and they will be raised up and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge them according to how they, their deeds in this life. It's from his mercy but and from the deeds that the people did in this life. If they were doing good deeds, then this will help them. This will help them get to paradise if they were believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if they were doing bad deeds, this is, only, this is going to take away from them. And if they were not even a believer, then they're destroyed in this life and they'll be destroyed in the hereafter. So that's why it's important to be good believers, treat each other good, uh, and do righteous deeds. That's just another one of the signs of the Day of Judgment. And I'm going to read one more hadith um, about the Day of Judgment. And this was something that we talked about before uh, in class. So, on the day of judgment, the sun will come close to the people on the, on the day of judgment. Okay, Imam Muslim, he entitled a chapter called, The Sun Will Come Close to the People on the Day of Judgment. And he said, uh, Sulaim ibn uh, Amr reported that Al-Miqdad ibn Aswad, radiallahu anhu, said, I heard the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying, the sun will come close to the people on the day of resurrection, about the distance of one mile only. So the sun, yes, this is in one narration that it said, al uh, mil, that it will come to the distance of one mile only. So we don't know how this is going to happen. You know, we can't fathom these things or imagine. But we know that this came from an authentic narration of the Prophet Sallallahu that this will happen. This is one of the things that will happen on the Day of Judgment is the sun will be very close. And then also, hold on, hold on a minute, let me finish. We don't know the distance. Is it a distance like the mile that we know? We don't know these things. But we just know that according to what the Prophet Sallallahu said, this is what is going to happen. So what we do know for sure in how and that we can understand from this is that the sun will become close uh, on the day of judgment to the people. The people will be resurrected and the sun will be near. And the people will sweat. Listen, finish, let me finish. So Sulaim ibn uh, Amr said, By Allah, I do not know if he meant by a mile. So here he's explaining this, the, per the narrator in the hadith. He said, I do not know if he meant by a mile, a distant a distance of land or the instrument used for eye lining. So he's he's saying that he doesn't know what was meant by a mile, but it does let us know the the main point is that the sun will be near on the day of judgment. This is one of the things that will uh, take place. Also, he said people will suffer. Uh, people will suffer sweat according to their deeds. This is what the narrator, Sulaim ibn Amr, radiallahu anhu, said. He said that people will suffer sweat. People will suffer sweat according to their deeds. Some will be drowned in it up to the ankle. So that means there will be so much sweat on the day of judgment that some of the sweat will be up to the people's ankle. Okay? up to their ankle sweat yeah and listen up listen up let me finish and some some others up to their knees yet some will be covered by sweat up to the throat up to their throat and others will be caught by their mouths 
Okay, so it shows you there, and this is according to your deeds. If you were doing a lot of bad deeds, then if your deeds were more, then there's going to be more sweat that's going to engulf you. Okay. Yes, as, as this is what was mentioned in this hadith. He said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam pointed at the mouth by his hand. Okay, so this shows us that it's very serious uh, on the day of judgment. And that the people will, um, you know, that will be raised up according to our deeds. And I'm going to read one more narration, one more hadith about the Day of Judgment. And in this hadith, and I think we, we spoke about this in class as well in, in, uh, when we talked a little about, about the hadith of Jibreel and so forth. And Imam Muslim entitled this chapter, he said, People will be gathered barefooted naked and uncircumcised okay this is on the day of judgment listen listen these are signs of the day of judgment it's it's not something to laugh at this is very serious hold on so aisha the wife of the prophet sallallahu anha narrated that the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said on the day of resurrection the people will be gathered barefooted naked and uncircumcised i asked so aisha asked the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after that she said oh messenger of allah Will the men and the women look at each other? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the situation will be too hard for them to pay attention to that. That it will be such a day that the people will be so much in so much fear of what they did in this life. As we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the people would flee from their mothers and their fathers and from their brothers and sisters and their, their friends. Okay, on that day of judgment, you won't know and you'll be too scared for your own your own self. So that is a sign of the day of judgment. There will be an increased fear and the people will be resurrected in that state. Okay, in a state just like when they were born. When you were born, you weren't born with the clothes on. Okay, you weren't born with shoes on. So on the day of judgment, you'll be raised also will be resurrected in that state. But the people will, will, will be too occupied with their own uh, fear and what they did in this life, the good and the bad of it, to worry about those other things. You, that's not even something that's going to uh, be exist, those kind of things of what people do in this life, you know, being distracted and so forth. So the people will be very scared on this day. So it shows us what, what do we learn from this? We learn. Not just those signs of the day of judgment, uh, of those things that will take place on the day of judgment, but we also learn that we should try to do good deeds in this life. That we should try to be kind to each other. We should try to be kind to all the people. We should invite people. We should be nice to people. We should do good deeds. We should give charity. We should do many things that are good and try to stay away from the bad things. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and bless us to stay away from the bad and do the good. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم